Coming up next to the stage, everybody, please make some noise until their feet hit this stage. Give it up for Gray, everybody! Have you ever lied awake, half comatose state, and heard nurses arguing amongst themselves about who switched the charts because there's no way in hell that a man can have a hysterectomy? Have you ever stood in line at the DMV and prayed to Jesus, Buddha, and Muhammad that three surgeries and a full beard later will be enough to prove that gender is between your ears and not between your legs? Have you ever laid next to your lover at night and begged for a moment to be able to feel her heartbeat beneath her navel? A moment to be able to feel her muscles contract where her muscles react and know that intercourse will be reduced to a hug reduced to a snug place where her heart touches yours. And have you ever walked into the women's restroom and jaws drop, pins drop, toilet paper roll, woman takes her whole asshole off the whole bowl just to tippy toe over the stall and say, excuse me, sir, I think you're in the wrong room. And have you ever heard a poet apologize for someone else's ignorance? It sounds like when Roscoe Burnham said, in their own minds, I think transgenders are trying to get closer to God. What I heard, in their own minds, I think transgenders are trying to get closer to God. What I heard was cross-dressing is a sacrificial offering. More than ornament dangling between bosom. And so I dress my cross in recycled bloodstained memories of 28 day cycles. Cross me. I'm convinced I've fallen because angels have no gender. I'm just walking amongst you, mimicking human nature. Like cry, breathe, grieve, love, hate, feel, hunger, pain. No proper nomenclature for what is the closest thing to the alpha and omega. I'm regurgitating the apple that bit Eve. No Mac, but I tune me, I heart me, I part me from the physical prison my mind once forced to live. I give credit to the creator for such strength. This cross is no longer heavy to bear. I drum snare to classical violins. I am grim to the untrained eye. I've died and reincarnation is served in hormone cocktails. Le soleil, it's hot. And foreplay is an exaggeration when you've been fondled with a bad hand. Transgenders are not trying to get closer to God. They've traveled light years in his iPod. Listen, the weather never stays the same, and so I formatted my remains to create season where ignorance is bland and redemption tastes sweeter than second chance. I exist where there are amputated hands on ours, our second hand, but our second hand takes more than it gives, demises more than it lives. And in the event that lungs constrict, we still find ways to contradict ourselves. This life is physical, this flesh is hell. Feed your spirits, eat well. Your cups runneth over with prejudice, using backhands to wipe away mustaches made of bigotry. You belch boldly in the bountiful bitterness of belligerence. Excuse you for transcending deception. This is my immaculate conception of self. I am he that bled seven days on intergalactic rays of lightning. To common sense, I'm downright frightening. I am shrouds of nimbus clouds exhaling estrogen. I am prophetic. I make all things new, even genetics. Dear education, there is less room. Their concerns are which restroom will it hesitate to defecate on memories of Nubian goddesses bearing delicate fruit in their wombs? Will it kick in Medusa's tomb with Achilles' heel and make her feel stoned? I am it, unknown, equivalent X. I've tattooed Y chromosomes across my heart as though they were agonizing art. I've turned my uterus to a place so beautiful. Just fathom, where angels mourn the birth of Adam and ovaries resemble rings of Saturn. I am he.